Hello, welcome to Tumblr Design. I'm Dage, and today we're going first. This is my friend Mike on his motorcycle, and we'll use Photoshop's blurring techniques to create movement. So there are basically two scenarios here. One, the camera is moving at the same speed of Mike, so Mike won't be blurred at all, but the background will be. And two, the camera is still, it's not moving. So the blur will be applied to Mike and his bike. So let's start with case number one, where the camera is moving. First, we need Mike on a separate layer. So with the pen tool, make sure path is selected here and start creating a path around him. When the path is completed, I'll hit Ctrl or Command Enter to create a selection. Now, with the layer still selected, I will hit Ctrl or Command J to create a new layer out of the selection. So now we have Mike on its own layer. Let's create the selection again by hitting Ctrl or Command and clicking once on the thumbnail, and then turn it off. Go to Select, Modify, Expand. I will expand the selection by 50 pixels, but you may use the amount you want according to your image size. Now select the background layer, then go to Edit, Fill, use Content Aware, and hit OK. Great, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna blur it out. Hit Ctrl Command D to deselect and let's convert it to a smart object so that we work non-destructively. Then go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. Set the angle to 5 degrees since the road is a little bit slanted. Set the distance to 100 pixels and hit OK. Turn on this layer and that's it. Now for the case number 2 where the camera is not moving, we don't have to use Content Aware to fill in the background. So I'll undo that. Now we need Mike to be on the background and on a separate layer. Select that layer, then go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. Set the values as you wish and hit OK. With the Move tool, just move this layer a little bit to the right so that the blur is kind of behind Mike. Create a layer mask, select the Brush tool, make it black, set its opacity to 50% and mask out some of the front parts of the layer. Great, that's it. You can also put the wheels on separate layers and blur them out using Photoshop's Shape Blur. And you'll end up with something like that. So that's it guys, I hope you really enjoyed the video and That's the most important thing to remember.